Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and thanks for watching. Today we're gonna do a brand showcase, and this particular brand is very, very different for me because normally I have one of the top line shoes uh, of the brand, and in this case, I have their very, very entry line shoe. Uh, this was a shoe that I happened to catch on some super sale that was offered up on one of the Facebook groups for 80 bucks. Uh, plus 30 for shipping because I had it shipped from Indonesia. And it's a um, basic Adelaide. It's the CNES A1 B1, I think. Um, probably says so inside. Um, I think it says A1 uh, A1 A2, I think. This is a size 44, which is my regular European size. If you look on their size guide, they suggest taking a 46 for my size, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, as I look at the overall construction, you know, the apron is pretty nice. It's certainly a nice design. You did a good job on there. Now you'll notice there's no fudging. There's actually <laughs> no stitches. Whoa, what? Well, if you look on the inside, there are stitches there. This is Blake stitched. So that is a uh, difference. It's part of their entry line. That's why you can see their logo, which is pretty cool. They also do their logo on the sole, CNES. And um, a little slight bevel and a nice combination heel. Overall, you know, for 80 bucks, and I think that these things actually list out at about 200, uh, it's a pretty good shoe. They uh, The leather quality is okay uh, i'm not going to say that it's great but i wouldn't expect it to be for the price it's um everything that you would expect in an entry line shoe it it does the job it's not terribly um uncomfortable on your feet and um but it is blake stitched right i'm used to working I, this is one of three blake stitches that i own and so i'm used to having that core clear um so my feet are kind of wimpy so that's, you know, not the end of the world, but that is something. And it's Blake stitched for economics, right? It does, it's not like it has a really thin sole where it would be, you know, by design. So um, that that is one piece that, that I think is a little weird. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, the construction method allowed the price to be low, which made, you know, a higher quality shoe more accessible to folks, which I think is also important. So now CNES is made in... Uh, Vietnam, I believe, and is a overall a pretty good shoe. Uh, certainly, um, you know, the brand uh, has a decent reputation out there and is worth trying. Uh, but I can't speak to their higher end because I don't own any. I only own this one. So those are my thoughts. Let me know your experience with CNES in the comments below. Thanks.